Breakpoint chlorination is the condition that as a pool plant operator you should be striving to maintain at all times um, with regards to effective chlorination of the pool water and we're going to take a, a, a look at, at what it actually is and how it can be uh, achieved. So in order to do that Try and uh, imagine a, a situation where you've got a body of water um, that's got no chlorine in it, um, but it has, it does have pollution in, in the water, which is going to include um, ammonia because um, this a lot of the stuff that bathers are bringing in with them, uh, sweat, urine, etc., is going to break down into urea and then into ammonia. So as we go forward through this um, explanation, that's the situation I want you to keep in mind uh, that we've got um, a pool, no chlorine, but lots of ammonia. And so um, what we need to do is, is to add some chlorine. So along this bottom axis here, is going to be the chlorine that we're going to dose in and then this vertical axis is going to be the chlorine that we can measure with the DPD uh, tablet tests okay so as we begin to add chlorine into the pool obviously because we started this scenario um, in the hypothetical situation where we haven't got any um, not that you'd want that in a in a public pool but uh, it makes it easier to start out from that point so we've got no chlorine but we start adding some chlorine so that's what the situation will look like to begin with so we're adding in two milligrams per liter of chlorine and sure enough um, we'll be able to measure that we've got two uh, milligrams per litre of chlorine but is this chlorine that we can measure is it going to be free chlorine or is it going to be combined chlorine well the answer to that is it's going to be combined chlorine because as soon as we add the chlorine into the pool it's going to immediately sort of start to mix together with and react with i.e combine with the ammonia that's uh, already dissolved in that pool water so if we were to do a pool test um, with the dpd tablets if we were to do dpd1 we probably wouldn't see that there's a lot there because dpd1 measures free chlorine but when we put the dpd3 tablet in and measure total chlorine then we'd see that we've got two parts per million. Um, and because we've got no free chlorine, um, we'd be able to establish that all of that total chlorine is in fact in the form of combined chlorine. Okay, so you keep adding the chlorine. Let's imagine that you keep adding the chlorine. What will happen next is this, where you get this increasing level of what we already established was combined chlorine um, but what will happen is as long as you've got um, everything in order in terms of the correct pH level that you're uh, implementing a sound policy a robust policy of pre-swim showering that you're diluting with enough fresh water 30 liters of fresh water per bather per day you've got good filtration good circulation um, the turnover time is appropriate for your type of pool what will happen is that the combined chlorine levels will start to decrease what's actually happening here is that the combined uh, the chlorine is actually starting to produce byproducts 
initially it was monochloramine because uh, combined chloramine consists of monochloramine, dichloramine and trichloramine. So what was happening initially is that the uh, monochloramine was, was starting to become established. But then the monochloramine starts reacting with further uh, chlorine that you that you're adding and then that forms dichloramine and then what happens is both the dichloramine uh, and any fresh chlorine that you add along with the ammonia starts to decompose and therefore it gets lost from the from the swimming pool so even though you might still be adding more chlorine you're you're going to see initially that even though you're adding more chlorine is actually decomposing when it's mixing initially with uh, ammonia but then it goes into that second re uh, stage reaction uh, and 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 the monochloramine forms dichloramine and then starts to decompose and therefore gets lost from the pool okay so then let's continue adding more more chlorine uh, and see what happens now we get this so initially we had a rise of chlorine but that was in the form of combined chlorine then we had even though we were adding more chlorine we had uh, the residual uh, decreasing so it's all been combined chlorine up to this point what will happen now is the chlorine residual that we can measure with DPD1 and DPD3 tablets will go on the increase again. But this is the crucial thing, is that this increase is now in the form of free chlorine. Okay, because there's at this point, all of the uh, ammonia and the chloramines that had been um, uh, developing and, and being created in the pool water they're all gone now. So as you start to increase and or continue to add more chlorine, it's not going to increase the level of combined chlorine because there's, there's literally not. Uh, it's not there to combine. Uh, there's no ammonia for the chlorine to combine with anymore. So now when we continue to add chlorine, we're going to be able to establish a good residual of free chlorine and that will actually continue um, the more chlorine that we add that's what breakpoint chlorination is all about the breakpoint refers to this point here where you get this upward trajectory of free chlorine because everything on that side to the right hand side of this of this break point is free chlorine everything on the other side is combined chlorine so this break point here that's what we're aiming for as pool plant operators we want we don't want the chlorine that we're adding to turn into combined chlorine we don't, or, we, or we don't want the combined chlorine levels increasing uh, and spiraling out of control with the addition of more chlorine that we add as pool plant operators what we want is the free chlorine not the combined chlorine now in a badly run uh, pool you won't get this what will happen is when we go back to the initial uh, sort of stages where it was combined chlorine being created you'll just get that continuing so it will all it, you know you'll just get increasing levels of combined uh, combined chlorine because as more bathers go into the pool because they're not taking a shower because you're not adding uh, fresh water to dilute it away there's always going to be this um, reaction going on that's producing uh, monochloramine and dichloramine and then it can even go even further and the dichloramine starts to um, react with further chlorine that you add and you get something called trichloramine being created which is a very aggressive um, undesirable um, situation a uh, substance that creates this situation where you've got 
very irritating pull water, uh, irritating to the eyes, to the respiratory system, very damaging to the building as well. So we don't want that. What we want is to achieve this break point. Now, um, for a, the practical part of this really is, is, is to monitor the water and be aware of when you're achieving break point chlorination. Now, the standard in the UK is that if your um, combined chlorine is uh, half or less than the free chlorine, then that is an indication that you are achieving this breakpoint chlorination. So when you look at your pull test log sheets, if uh, you're seeing consistently that your combined chlorine level is lower than 50% of your free chlorine level, then you you can take that as an indication that you uh, that you are in fact achieving breakpoint chlorination. Now that that's a very simple run through of uh, what breakpoint chlorination is. Um, if you want more detail, there's a uh, a, a graph um, uh, that accompanies um, this video on the um, in 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 the topic of breakpoint chlorination. Um, just have a look at that and click on the uh, information uh, symbols that you see on the graph if you want more sort of granular information about the chemical reactions that are going on. But in summary, breakpoint chlorination is where, where you get an increase in free chlorine with the addition of more chlorine being added to the swimming pool rather than an increase in combined chlorine when you add more chlorine to the swimming pool.